Hi, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code, the channel where I try and help you learn how to use your core to move more fluidly, more effectively, and with lower impact on your joints. In this video, I'm going to work on some exercise to strengthen your glute and your root. Now, when I'm talking about your glutes, I'm talking about your gluteus medius, which we use to externally rotate the hip and to abduct the hip, and also your gluteus maximus, which we use primarily to extend the hip. When I talk about the root, I'm talking about the muscles that help link your spine to your leg, because we always move around an axis created by one of our legs, not both at the same time. That's because our body moves in a rotational manner and we need something to rotate around. So to just feel what the root is, I want you to place your feet in a wide stance and begin to move around and sense which leg you are tethered to. So I'm gonna move around either the axis of my left leg, moving around that, that is my root, or I can switch to moving around my right leg that is the root. I can't move around both legs at the same time or I get stuck. So the root is going to be controlled by our muscles in the lower waist. And part of the exercise we're going to do today is going to help strengthen those muscles and help you get attuned to what those muscles are doing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And let's get started. For the exercises we're doing here, you're going to need a step, either a step like this or you can use a staircase. We're going to begin with exercise one, which is simply going to be standing in a balanced position with one leg on the step and the other leg off the step. In this position, we're going to be strengthening our gluteus medius on the standing leg the gluteus medius, I already said, helps to abduct the hip. If we're not abducting the hip in a standing position on one leg, the body is going to fall over sideways like this. So we're using the gluteus medius to correct the body into that vertical position and keep it level. So just by standing here, you're already strengthening your gluteus medius. And you can stand and balance there and then switch to the other leg and practice that and try standing for 30 seconds at a time and working your balance. For the second exercise, what we're going to do is lower the body from this standing position, placing the ball of the foot on the ground, not lowering it to the heel like this. Stop when the ball is placed and then we're going to go back and forth from this position to this position and then back to this position. Now this exercise is going to need a little explanation because what you see is not necessarily what is going on. There's a lot of subtleties to this exercise that you'll need to understand to make it really functional and help you climb stairs with less impact and pain in your knees and also to strengthen the proper muscles and to help you learn how to control your root. When I have my right leg on the ground, with the ball pointing down, with my weight on the ball, the foot, my root is on the right. In order to begin to push myself up, I need to transfer the root to the left leg on the stair. And you're gonna do that by tucking your pelvis, tucking your pelvis with your lower abs. And you can see how my spine shifts from being directly over my right leg to being over my left leg. That is changing the root. The whole time I'm using my glutes on the right side, continuing to push down off the ground, that's keeping me supported. But I'm gonna change my root from right to the left. Then you're gonna to need to make another shift by rotating forward, and that's gonna fully get your spine over the left leg. Now you can use your glutes on the left to push up. You can see my spine go from this position 
moving over several inches to this position, that's because of the change of the root. Now I begin to change the root back. I complete the change of the root back. Now I can push up. Then I push down. And you can use your arm to examine the rotation of the upper part of the waist as we're doing this. When my right leg is on the ground, my upper part of the waist is turning forward on the right. Then I'm going to change my root. Then I'm going to change the upper waist rotation to complete the weight transfer. And now I can push up. And my upper waist is turning forward on the left. We can practice this a little quicker and do a sawing-like action so you can feel the rotation of the upper part of the waist. So first I change the root, then the upper part of the waist, and then I push up. You'll notice after I change the root, when I change the upper part of the waist, you're going to see a slight raising of my center of mass. But my leg on the right is still connected to the ground. Now I'm going to be able to push up. This is the same action that we do when we're climbing stairs and we place the foot, we change the root, then we change the upper waist slightly rising, then we can push up. When you climb stairs in that fashion, it's going to put less stress on your knee and cause less pain under the kneecaps that some people get when they're climbing stairs. Now back to the exercise. Balance, reaching forward with your left arm, lower, reaching forward with your right arm. Transfer the root, transfer the rotation from the upper waist, then push up. When we push up, now we're using our glutes on the left. When we push down, we're using our glutes on the right. Glutes on the left, glutes on the right. When we have our right foot on the ground, we're also strengthening our calf muscles because our calf is going to be plant our flexing our ankle, supporting our weight at this position, and then practice. For the next exercise, what we're going to do is begin the same way, lowering to the ball of the foot, and then we're going to release lowering the heel to the ground. That release is going to involve activating our hip flexors on the upper step leg. From this position, now we're going to need to get back onto the stair because I have no root here on the step at all. So I'm going to need to apply the root, transfer with the upper waist, and then push up. Push down, release the leg, and then now transfer again. First the root, then the full weight as we rise partially, and then push up. So you can see several phases to the movement. Movement one is pushing the root onto the stair. Phase two is fully transferring the weight using this rotation, which is going to cause a slight rise, and then pushing up with the glute. Now for exercise four. Exercise four is a little more complicated, and it's going to really help you feel the change of your root from one side to the other, while at the same time working your glutes. We're going to start in this way, so you're going to see this sideways. What we're going to start with is extending the hip on the free leg. So I have my root still on the stair. I'm turning forward on the upper waist on the right, and that keeps the balance here. Now from this position, I'm simply going to change the root from left to right, and that's going to bring the body down. That is going to really help you learn how to feel 
just changing one muscle, the root, which is our lower abs, going from left to right to bring the leg down. Then if I flex my left hip, I can settle the weight. Now we're going to get back on the stair by pushing with the hip, the glute, on the right. Now transfer the root, then transfer the rest of the weight, and climb. Now reach back. Really strengthen the gluteus maximus. Gluteus medius is still working on my left side. Then transfer root from left to right. And then release. Now push, root, complete the weight transfer, push up. Then you can go back and forth between that exercise and this exercise. Really helping you feel the difference between the different movements. So practice these several exercises to help strengthen your gluteus medius and your gluteus maximus. Strengthen and learn how to control your lower abs and work your calf muscles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you've already clicked the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, and you can also show extra support by either clicking the join button to become a member or by clicking on the super thanks button to show your support for this particular video. My walking code book is also available on my website, which I will link in the description section. Thanks for watching.